overwhelmed by something. Something we've never seen before. It is hard to believe that it's been half a century since the world was introduced to Star Trek and now 13 films on. I'm at the UK premiere for the latest installment in London. Now, I wish I was in a drier galaxy, but I am going to be here meeting the stars of Paramount's latest blockbuster, Star Trek Beyond. First up, reprising his role as Captain James T. Kirk, was leading man and dedicated follower of fashion, Chris Pine. Chris, hey man, how, how are, are you, you buddy? Good to see you again. Uh, I have to inquire, man, this is a really, really cool little piece. Yeah, there. thanks, man. Is there a story behind it? No, I just didn't want to do a tie, and I was like, I asked my, these, these lovely ladies that helped <laughs> dress me, I was like, do guys ever do a... Uh, uh, you got a sparkly thing for my lapel? Brooch. I guess it is a brooch. Yeah. It's like, do guys ever do brooches? And they were like, yeah, sure, why not? And then, anyway, found one. Of those when, it, when in London Whenever, type things, yeah. no socks and brooches type deal. I'm a no <laughs> socks kind of dude, man. No, I love that I'm a, about I'm a you. Californian, so. Yeah, your dad, obviously, Robert, is a very accomplished actor yeah. in his own right. Yeah, indeed. Is he a Star Trek fan? He is. I mean, in fact, you know, he kind of came up at the same time as, uh, as Bill, in a way. I mean, my dad just celebrated his 70. Fifth birthday, wow. and uh, I think Bill's the same age or a little bit older. So, uh, uh, yeah, he was he was a fan growing up, and uh, or not growing up, God, when he was when he was my age, basically. Yeah. Now we all know Trekkies are diehard fans, and Pine recalls a time they weren't too impressed with him being cast as Kirk. There was a time on the first film where, where we it was the we introduced uh, uh, us to you know people, and I remember. Uh, People, every, everybody was getting introduced. It was like, Zach went to his Spock, and everybody cheered. And Carl Urban is bone, everybody cheered. And then they introduced me, and there was a very lackadaisical, slow cheer. <laughs> and I just saw these people in the front row looking at me, and they were like, <laughs> so that, that, that I took that to heart. Also returning for a third time as the iconic Vulcan in blue, Dr. Spock, is Zachary Quinto. And the fact that it is an anniversary, the 50th year, did something like that weigh on you guys uh, from a cast point of view, or do you just go to work? We just go to work, man. I mean, you know, we're thrilled to be a part of it at this moment. You know, it's a pretty significant milestone for any entertainment entity to celebrate half a century. Um, so I think the timing worked out to our advantage. Uh, but our, our job is to make a good movie and to bring what we can to, to, to that process, and that's what we did. Quinto, who's also an openly gay male, thought it was about time someone from the LGBT community was represented on the SS Enterprise. Were you guys surprised that there was a concentration on John Cho's character, the sexuality? No, I mean, I, I think it's a significant... Uh, revelation about a character that people have uh, enjoyed for a long time but I think that the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive and uh, you know I don't know I think people need to like chill out a little bit but uh, but I feel like young people have overwhelmingly responded uh, feeling inspired and uh, and heartened by being represented and the LGBT community has long advocated for representation in the Star Trek universe and I think it was handled with subtlety and uh, I think it was handled with subtlety and taste, and uh, I think Roddenberry would have willed it in that direction, to be honest with you. Anyway, I'm more mad that there's no Irish person. Good for in, you. In, there's a, you, you got a Scotsman. Why is there no Irish that, person on the we'll Enterprise? Work on that if we do another one. New to the cast was Idris Elba, who plays an intergalactic supervillain. Yeah, I play Kral, who is uh, the bad guy, and he's a very bad guy, and he's got some real issues, and he causes a lot of problems for the Federation. 